Soho Properties has just launched its latest investment offering. This is the New York City Structured Finance Fund. And with me is the CEO of Soho Properties, Sharif Al-Gamal, to explain what this is all about, what's the strategy. Uh, tell me about this new fund. We are, we are right now in one of the most uncertain times that we've ever experienced as investors. Hmm. And we have also had the, 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 the experience of, of being in the real estate markets for 20 plus years. And we, uh, we've noticed that there's an inefficiency right now in the market okay. uh, for us to be able to participate and offer uh, a structured financed product where we're going to be able to offer investors a 12% annual return on monies invested with us through this product uh, into directly into uh, structured, secured debt positions collateralized by incredible assets in Manhattan. Oh, huh. it's real estate. It's real estate. Okay, I mean, because that's what you do. So you yes. know um, when the value is in yes. kind of property. Yes, but it's not just me. You're not just yeah. relying on us as Soho uh -huh. Properties. We're, 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 there, there's gonna be a very rigorous process for us to qualify an asset to come into mm -hmm. uh, the portfolio that we're gonna be building within the, the fund vehicle that we're putting together. Uh, they, they're, they're, they're appraised, third parties are gonna be appraising them. Okay. You know, CBRE, Cushman Wakefield, mm -hmm. Newmark, all the household names in our industry are really gonna be putting that stamp of approval on what's the appraised value of the asset. And our objective is to participate in a senior secured position with a max loan to value exposure or LTV exposure of 75%. We're going to be targeting between 55 to 60, but we're, we're putting a window of up to 75%. So, for example, in the simplest of terms, an asset that's worth $100 million, we would be participating in the last dollars of up to $75 million um, and really being able to provide our investors and partners uh, equity-like returns in a structured vehicle, but having the security of having a first lien on the property and also having a pledge of the equity interest so that God forbid, God forbid, if something was to go wrong, uh, we would be able to immediately jump in and take control of the asset. That's not the objective at all of right. the strategy. But that's just kind of a backup, backup, backup. Backup, backup, yeah, backup, yeah. well said. <laughs> Is this um, residential, commercial, both? Really asset agnostic. Okay. I think we're, we're, we're we are, leaning more towards hospitality and residential assets. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand those quite well, uh, but we are, it's, we're really asset agnostic mm -hmm. as to what the, what the asset is gonna be, but it's gotta be a, a prime asset with real upside um, and real security. Yeah, and it's interesting you talk about kind of this inefficiency in the market right now, because it is a weird time. Um, what do you think it is about this time in terms of macro strategy It makes it right for, to, for an investment like this? There's no liquidity in the markets. Mm. There's literally, it's, it's become impossible for you as a borrower to go out and find real liquidity. Banks have shut their gates. Mm. The shutters are down, the doors are closed, they've put padlocks. Banks are not lending money right now. Okay. Banks are, you know, hoarding cash. I think that uh, there's a real inefficiency in the capital markets and we recognized it. Also over the last 10 years of, of, of Soho Properties, uh, lenders have made incredible returns on the back of our projects. So we've had this experience where we, we have the sophistication and acute understanding of the capital stack and, and realize that right now there's this window of opportunity for us to come in and really provide, uh, you know, in a way, I don't want to call it rescue capital, but real capital and real, uh, uh, real liquidity for great assets with good sponsors that, uh, you know, that need just a little bit of a push to finish executing their business plan. And we recognize this window in the market. Yeah. Is it investor sentiment, do you think? Kind of this kind of pessimism that we're seeing about the economy and big cities and things like that that is leading to the inefficiency? I, I think yes and no. 
I think it's you know I, I, I think it's 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 at a, it's more it's higher up than just the investors. I think that our policymakers. I think on a global level, there's there's so much uncertainty. Yeah. Uh, there's so much uncertainty about where our interest rates going. Are we in in you know we we know that we're in an inflationary period right now. And it's really important to also recognize that historically, during inflationary periods, hard assets, which this is a hard yeah. asset strategy, okay, uh, it's, it's your, your money is going into a hard asset. Mm -hmm. This is the best place for you right now to remove your monies out of the volatility that you're experiencing in in, in stock markets, in, the, in, 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 in public equities. You know, there's incredible volatility. Yeah. And everybody, every smart person is saying that we haven't seen the worst of it yet. Yeah. So we're, we're offering right now investors uh, a, a completely different strategy for them to place their money, get the benefit of a secured position but also get the benefit of hedging their equities mm -hmm. and their monies mm -hmm. in a hard asset. Yeah. So it's, it's a very compelling strategy uh, with respect to where we are right now on a, on a global macro scale. And again, it's New York, yeah. the global capital of the world. Yeah, so let's hope it stays, right? So, now, so you mentioned you're targeting 12% returns. Um, what is like the risk return ratio, would you say, so something like this? So, Again, we, 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 we have incredible optimism and hope that the borrowers that we're going to be loaning money to are going to absolutely crush it and execute their business plans. But God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, and I, and I say that with 70, 72 caps, okay, God forbid, they don't execute their business plan. So what's the worst case scenario that happens? We've stepped into their shoes, okay? and now secured and own an asset that is 25 to 50 to 25 percent lower than the replacement cost or the appraised value of that asset. So what could happen then? We could make two to three to four times on that investment, mm -hmm. okay? So it's, it's, it's a strategy that really the, 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 the negative thing that could happen is that the borrower doesn't pay you back you as an investor have an opportunity to make more money. Yeah. So, and, and you have experience in this area, so it's not like you're taking over, you know, some kind of asset that you have no idea what you're dealing with. I mean, this is what you do, so you know. So, and there's, I assume, a wide variety of outcomes with these investments. I mean, how does your team kind of navigate all of that and try to maximize as much out of all those different outcomes? We have mm -hmm. been building and uh, uh, buying and owning and operating New York City real estate across all food groups, ac across all assets asset classes since 2003. And so we have, uh, we, we have a real deep, deep experience and understanding of not just the architecture that goes into a capital stack, but we understand how to operate a building, how to find efficiencies across that. So we have different teams at Soho Properties that execute different uh, uh, responsibilities, uh, and we're a well oiled machine that really works well together. So we have the skill set, the capabilities to step in seamlessly into a borrower's shoes and execute their business strategy. God forbid if they weren't able to, you know, go full circle and make a, 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 a either, you know, a, 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 a repayment of, of some sorts on the deal or, and again, our objective here is to work with borrowers, to give them more time if they need more time. But it's really about being ethical also. You know, for us, uh, uh, we, we, we want to be ethical in the transaction. And I think that that's one of the things that also has been missing from, uh, from a lending and borrowing transaction. There's a lot of predatory lenders mm -hmm. that are out there. We are the counter opposite. We want to be ethical. We want to find a way to work it out. Um, and that will always be the first intention with any transaction that we do. Uh, but we have a deep experience of being able to take over an asset and execute it, yeah. you know, God forbid, in the event that it didn't work out. Right. Can you give me examples of any of the transactions that you've done so far? Yes. Uh, so we right now are uh, we're buying a condo uh, uh, 
uh, project that is fully built uh, and it is, uh, you know, in prime Manhattan. I'm not going to give you all the details because okay. I don't know who's watching here. <laughs> and uh, a lot of this stuff is extremely confidential. Okay. But we're, we're in the process of buying uh, uh, an existing condo project that's fully built. It's a class A asset. Uh, and uh, they are right now looking for an inventory loan on their condo project and uh, they have fully leased out all the retail so there's income that's being generated right now from the asset and they're selling condos they're, they're selling condos for almost two thousand dollars a square foot mm -hmm. we're coming in at a basis um, of, of now basis is very important for an investor to understand because basis is everything when you buy real estate it's what what is that value when you bought that real estate so uh, so we're going to be we're buying we're, we're participating in that loan with a basis of almost twelve hundred dollars a foot so and they're selling for nineteen hundred dollars a foot okay so that gives you right now how much of a cushion we have for that borrower to make mistakes which always happen or issues that could arise mm -hmm. but it shows you how uh, uh, how cautious we're being from an underwriting perspective at what leverage point we're willing to participate in uh, based on what is the appraised value or the strike price for the sale of those condos mm. um, and and that transaction will be able we're, we're offering and and able to give our investors a 12 percent return yeah. on that type of a security where you have a senior secured position but you also have a pledge of the equity so that if there are games that are played or if things you know aren't uh, uh, amicable mm -hmm. we're able to immediately take control of the asset and execute the strategy interesting can is this open to anybody to invest in and how can somebody invest in this fund uh, this is open f uh, uh, yes if you if you have the liquidity if you have the desire if you're accredited uh, come to our website sohoproperties.com hit hit one of the tabs and 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 one of our uh, capital market associates will uh, will brief you and and further show you what we're what we're doing and what we're offering okay fascinating and glad to hear you're so optimistic about property in New York thank you, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I New York's not going anywhere yeah okay good to hear Jane, um, thank you for having me on your show thanks so much Sharif. thank you uh -huh.